Hello everybody, welcome back for another review. I have another Essie collection. So many, so many. This one I believe is a Target exclusive collection. It's the Cyber Society collection. Let me know if you're in a different country and you know you're gonna get it. Just let me know in the comments down below. I feel like that helps other people and I am not exactly sure where it's available except for in my area. So if you know that information, then that would be super helpful. So hopefully those of you who don't have Target in your area will be able to get your hands on some of these because I do really love a few of them in here. Before we get started on that, I'm gonna tell you what's on my lips. I did a little lip shopping. I noticed that all the lipsticks I've been using are so old, you guys. Some of them were like 10 years old and I'm like, it's time to switch these out. Some of them were discontinued and I just wanted to refreshen my lipstick collection just a little bit so um, I'll be wearing some of these new ones in my videos in the next few weeks but this is from Tarte and this is the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump and it is in the color peachy beige and I love it so much you guys it is I can tell it's a little bit of a plumper I have a little bit of tingling but it's just kind of a glossy lipstick it's comfortable I got a few of these um, I can't remember the other color I got but I'll probably wear it next maybe I'll do that so you guys can see that one too but I love this shade so much so that is what is on my lips on my video I have a top coat over all my swatches this is the top coat that I use all the time I thought I'd just start mentioning it because I get questions about it a lot and it's glisten and glow it's my favorite top coat it's plump it's fast drying and it's just perfection it doesn't shrink and it goes on so nicely and I love it one thing about this though is you're gonna need a thinner any fast drying top coat is gonna get thicker in the bottle over time and so I just get their thin and restore and I'll link both of those products down below as well as my code for you guys that's not an affiliate link but it is a discount link for you guys in fact I've listed all my discount codes down below now as someone suggested which was super awesome <laughs> to suggest so you guys can view anytime that you want. So Glisten and Glow top coat, the best top coat ever. Oh, I have a zit on my nose. It hurts so bad. <laughs> Do you guys hate that when you get a zit in your nose? Oh, so sensitive. I don't even want to touch it. Okay, let's get into the collection. So we have, let's see, four creams and a couple shimmery colors. And the formulas on these are really, really great. And I like all the names and everything. I think they're so fun. So let's get into it. Um, the one that I'm wearing on my nails is the first one that we're gonna talk about. And it is called On The Download. And it's this beautiful pale blue. It almost is purple leaning as well. So it's like a purple blue. <laughs> periwinkle-ish color, but it has a lot of white in it. The base is a little bit sheer and it does have this shimmer running through it that shifts from like pink to orange. It's really pretty, so it's almost like kind of corally. So on your nails, when you have it painted, it is gonna shift a little bit. And it's not anything that's too crazy. It's like the perfect amount of glitter for me. And I'm actually really loving it quite a bit. I was really excited to put this one on. The formula on this one can be a little bit tricky. So the formula, um, has to be a little bit thin for you to be able to see that glitter and so it is going to be thin So I want you guys to know to expect that I did three coats and I I think if you're not very experienced in like floating your brush or making it go on without any streaks you might need four just depending on how you apply it but I did just a little bit of thicker coat on that second and third one floating that brush and that really made a difference in ensuring that I had no patchy areas so hopefully that's helpful the formula is a little bit tricky but for me it's definitely worth it and I really like it it reminded me a lot of virgin snow it is quite a bit lighter than that one but while we're talking about it it. let's get into those comparisons so I compared it to press pause and I really just added this one because I wanted you to get an idea of the color tone and that one's obviously a little bit more gray and then I compared it to virgin snow and that is quite a bit darker more darker than I thought just so you guys know it's quite a bit lighter than that one but it's a similar color tone and then go with the flowy which has interesting glitter in it I don't know it's always a little interesting and a little bit textury to me that one's more gray too so I really feel like on the download it's just a really Really unique color I don't have anything like it I went through China glaze and I feel like China glaze is one that really adds these kind of iridescent colors they were like the first big brand to kind of do that in my opinion I could be wrong but first one that I collect they just don't have anything like it so it's just quite unique and I actually love it a lot unless I'm missing something but it's definitely unique to Essie and I think this is one that you are going to want to grab but just keep in mind that the formula is a little bit tricky and then we have NFT and this is kind 
kind of an orange beige nude shade. They've been coming out with these oranges quite a bit. Their Essie has quite <laughs> a few of them with various different temperatures and shades. They're not my favorite to wear though. They're a little too close to my skin tone, but I'm guessing they're quite popular because they keep making them. I don't know. Do you guys like these kind of shades? Tell me if you wear them. I really want to know who is wearing these. Um, I guess if I had really pale skin, I'd probably like this a little bit better because there would be a little bit more contrast. Or maybe if I had darker skin, I'd like it because there's some contrast. So just tell me, <laughs> tell me who's wearing these because they just keep coming out with orange. It does have a really fantastic formula. All the creams in here do. It just goes on so buttery and glossy. You're going to need a few coats though to build it up. Other than that, I don't have too much to say about about it. I do think you guys will think it's important to see how it compares to other polishes just so you can see how it fits and we're going to do that right now. So I compared it to Taj Mahal. I really used to love that polish so much. That one's more bright and not as muted. Paint Brush It Off is more brownish and Snooze In is more of a pinky shade. I love this one the best out of all of them. If I choose an orange, I typically choose one that is more pink leaning and this is probably my favorite out of the bunch out of all that I'm going to show you actually. And then Hostess with the Mostess is lighter and more peachy and Coconuts For You is more like of a tan orange. It has more yellow in it. And then Freedom of Peach is a more red toned polish that's orange. It is a little different than all the other ones that they have. And I probably could show you more that aren't as close, but are kind of this muted orange. And a lot of them are going to be quite a bit more darker or quite a bit more yellow or quite a bit more corally. So I don't know. I just pulled the closest ones that I had and showed them to you. <laughs> So hopefully that's helpful in helping you decide if you want to get this one or not. But for me, my least favorite of the collection, for sure. And then we have this interesting polish called Geek Chic. A lot of companies are coming out with these iridescent shades. They are like super popular right now. I don't know if they're super popular or if everyone's just coming out with them right now. <laughs> How does that work? I don't know. I don't follow trends too, too often, but it is making me like these shimmery colors a little bit more. I mean, I'm wearing one right now, but this one's definitely a little bit more iridescent and shimmery. So this one has a really soft look to it. It's got a really, I would say like light gray base to it. And then it's got that really strong kind of purple to green shifting iridescent shimmer. And it's not as glittery as the iridescent shimmer in this one. This one has like glittery chunks that you can almost see that have like a defined border. But these ones do not. It's just really fine and it's almost has a little bit of pearliness to it as well. So I do like it. It's kind of interesting. I like that it's softer and more subtle. It reminds me of a lot of the shades that Orly's been coming out with recently as well. So there is a polish I know you're going to want to see compared to this one. In fact, probably a few. So let's look into those next. This color hits all the high notes, is lighter and more silvery. That was the only OPI one that I could really remember and pull out to compare. And that one's quite a bit lighter and more pearly and more glittery and not at all the same. And then for the twill of it, it has the same iridescent shimmer, but the base is darker. It's a much darker kind of charcoal base. So they are definitely different. The one that I found it was closest to, but it's still not quite as dark is um, Holy Shift. And I do like that one. It was from a China Glaze. I don't know if it was a Halloween collection or fall collection. I can't remember exactly, but um, that one's more close to for the twill of it. I would say that one's kind of in between this one and for the tool of it. Anyway, I find this one to be unique too. On the nail, it definitely has that like green purple shift that you can see, whereas this one has more of a colored base and not as much shift to it. <laughs> I'm not sure I'll wear it. Um, can you use it as a topper? Oh, I just thought about that in my head. No, I feel like it's opaque enough that you wouldn't, it probably wouldn't look good as a topper. It definitely is just more of a on your own kind of shade. Unless you had it over something dark, I don't know, but I feel like it might be a little patchy still because it's a little bit more opaque than just a, a sheer iridescent shade. Anyway, <laughs> there's that one. And then we have in our domain, and this is the pink that I was wearing all week last week in my stories. I had a lot of questions about it. It is similar-ish to Orly Meet Cute. I like them both. They are a little bit different though. But this one is warmer, but still a touch cooler. So it's kind of a good balance. It's got a great formula. It is a little bit crelly-ish though, so you might need three coats. I would say two to three, um, depending on how you apply it. And I do love that it's a little bit crelly-ish. I just like that quite a bit. I'm going to look at it again. Yeah. 
So it's a little bit cooler than Meet Cute, but I'll show you that in a second. But the formula is really glossy and shiny, and it's like almost looks like it has a top coat on it, but it doesn't. But I, of course, I always add a top coat, but I really liked that about this one and the others in the collection as well. They just had such a great glossy formula. Hi, Piper. Come on. Come say hi. Hi. Oh. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, there's Piper. Yeah. Are you bored? Are you bored? I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Okay. Okay. Go play. <laughs> okay, go play. <laughs> okay, I love you. Hop down. Oh, you're coming up? Okay. All right. Uh, but anyway, let's get into those comparisons. I compared it to Pin Me Pink, and that one's very, very, very close, if not exact, but I do feel like it's a touch lighter. But if you have that one, you might not need this one. I feel like in our domain, it's a little bit brighter than that though. So I'll let you decide on that. <laughs> and then extra, extra credit is warmer and more coral leaning and Orly Meet Cute, same thing. I feel like those are actually pretty close. Orly Meet Cute is probably my favorite of the bunch just because it is a little bit more bright. I think it's kind of hard to tell in the picture I noticed, but it is the brightest of the bunch or at least brighter than extra, extra credit. That one's a little bit more muted. They're all really great pinks, so I'm really enjoying these warmer pinks, even though this one's a little bit cooler than Meet Cute. I feel like it is a little bit warmer, so this is a really fantastic. And then we have Hyperlinked, and it's this beautiful bright blue shade. This one's gonna be so fun for summer. Same thing, it's kind of warm, but kind of cool tone. The formula's really fantastic on this one. It just goes on glossy like the other one. It's gonna build up, I would say, one to two coats for sure. It's like so, so close to one, but I think you could, if you really tried and got a little bit thicker, you could do one but I prefer two thinner coats. I don't know, I think I'll wear it. Out of all the bright blues that I did have that were even close to it, this one has the best formula though by far. So let's check out those comparisons. I compared it to Garden Variety and that one's darker and more muted, not as bright. And then Strut Your Stuff is darker and it doesn't have as much white in the base. Juicy Details is also darker and more navy leaning. The closest ones I found were from OPI and Music Is My Muse is very, very close. But like I said, Hyperlink, their formula is just so, so much better. It's got a little bit more white in the base so it is gonna have a little bit more coverage. That Music Is My Muse is a little bit more sheer. Same with Dance Party Till Dawn. Um, that one also has a sheerish formula. That one's warmer though, maybe a little bit more green in it. And then blues like OPI I Can't Find My Checkbook, I wanted to add in there so you could see how much lighter they were than this one. And that one's obviously more muted, so. Um, out of all these blues, I definitely like this one the best, and I think this would be a really fun toe color in the summer, and maybe I'll try it. I don't know, I generally stick to like white and pink, sometimes red, and purple variations, and coral sometimes. I'm gonna do a My Favorite Petty Colors video this spring or summer too, so just so you guys are aware, but maybe I'll branch out and do blue on my toes this summer. We'll see, but I like this one. This next one is Cyber Society. It's this beautiful, kind of more warm leaning purple. So it has a little bit more red in it. It's a really pretty shade and it's got an amazing formula. I always love their purples. I don't know. They just go on so nicely and the formula is always so good. It's got a more glossy formula, so it's going to be opaque, I would say, in two coats, but I really, really enjoyed this one. Essie does have a ton of purple colors, you guys, a ton. So I have some comparisons for you guys today. I really pulled out the ones that were closest but here they are. I compared it to Shades On. That was one of my favorites for a long time and I it was kind of fun to pull that out because I had kind of forgotten about it. That one's close. It just has more white in the base and a little bit muted and lighter but I feel like it's in that same color family. Wink of Sleep is cooler and then Sweet Retreat is cooler toned and it's almost blue leaning. And then I pulled out all Access Pests. That has the same brightness but that one's more blue. And then Lost My Bikini and Molokini. 
that's a similar shade it's just not as bright but it is kind of close in color tone and then nails of paradise is warmer and lighter so amazingly enough I didn't find that it was like super exact to this one I do really like the brightness of this one and the warmth of it I love that it's not as muted as some of the purples that are some of my favorites and some of my favorites are a little bit more blue leaning so this is more a little bit on the other spectrum and so I really liked this one I'd definitely be wearing it in the summer because I always like to pull out a good purple. Okay, so those are all the polishes. I'm going to pick my favorites. I'm going to be a little selective here, I guess. I don't know. I'm picking three. Is that being selective? I really like In Our Domain, but I feel like I like Meet Cute better. And if that review had come after this one, I probably would have picked that one. But since I've already <laughs> put on Meet Cute, that's going to change my mind a little bit. So I do like these and they're so fun together. Um, so the one I'm wearing right now called On the Download and then Hyperlinked, the Blue and Cyber Society. So these are my favorites. I could probably pull this one out if I'm being super, super picky just because there's so many purples, but I actually like this one because it is, I feel, a little bit different, slightly different than some that Essie has already come out with before. So what were your favorites? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you guys like to wear those orange shades. <laughs> I'm serious, I wanna know who's wearing these. Let me know if you know where to get this kind of collection in your country if you're not from the US and you don't have Target because I think that would be really helpful for other people. So I have links to all the products down below and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like always, I don't know why I say that because <laughs> everybody says it, but really you can just watch if you want, but it would be nice if you commented. But anyway, thanks so much for just being here. I appreciate it and we'll see you next time. Bye.